A nationally renowned musical experience is kicking off in Sacramento tonight. The Color Music Festival highlights the impact and historical significance of black classical composers and performers in America's culture. And joining us live this morning is Toughest Zimbabwe, the keyboardist in the Saturday Night Live band, as well as a composer for this week's festival. Thanks so much for your time. Well, legendary composer Edmund Thornton Jenkins is your granduncle, and you reworked his compositions for this festival. So what's it like to revise the music of someone that you share such a personal connection with? Well, it's a very special experience, and uh, I'm just very thankful to have the opportunity and, and to uh, learn the history of family members, something special, and to be able to present it to uh, the world and the country is extra uh, special experience. I'm very thankful. Yeah, and this afternoon, you're part of a panel to talk about your granduncle and how significant his work was in laying the foundation for black musicians. Talk about just his significance overall. Yes, uh, well, Edmund Thornton Jenkins, um, he came from a great family. His father was the Reverend Daniel Joseph Jenkins, his mother was Lena James, and um, he, uh, his father started the orphanage called the Jenkins Orphanage. And to raise money, they started bands. and. At its peak, there was five bands touring nationally, internationally, um, and three vocal groups. And some of the bands performed for the Queen of England, performed for President Taft, uh, as well as had a residency on Broadway for the original play called Porgy by Dubois Hayward and his wife. And that was in 1927 when that uh, play debuted. That was eight years before the opera Porgy and Fest. So uh, the family has been a major influence in um, the jazz scene in the United States, as well as in the world and Europe as well. So. So, I mean, aside from panels, there's obviously going to be performances as well. How would you describe to folks what type of showcase they'll be seeing on stage? Well, uh, Edmund was a multi-instrumentalist, uh, very prolific on um, the piano, the violin, the saxophone, the clarinet. I uh, play every instrument in the band. So for the panel, which is 2 p.m. Tuesday today, I'll be discussing Edmund and, uh, with uh, Dr. Karen Chandler and Dr. Christopher Brooks, uh, some of his history, and I'll be performing some solo piano works. On Thursday, you will hear uh, some orchestral works as well. And um, we will be doing four pieces. One has the vocalist on it, um, uh, Victor Ryan Robinson, and uh, a concerto for clarinet uh, by the trio Monique White. And um, so you get to hear all these different um, aspects of Edmund's uh, talent. What do you hope that folks who attend walk away with from this festival? Uh, just a, a, a greater appreciation for, um, you know, Edmund Thorne Jenkins and um, to be able to recognize him and, um, and as well as his family, the Jenkins, uh, the Jenkins Orphanage Band. It's a great history that, um, that is part of American history. All right. Where should folks go for more information if they would like to attend tonight or any of the performances that happen over the next couple of nights? Yes, please. Um, come to um, Tupas szimbabwe.com for more information about me, T-U-F-F-U-S-S-Z-I-M-B-A-B.com. And um, come to thecolorofmusic.org for more information about the full schedule. There'll be performances uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, 2 p.m. and 7.30, as well as perform uh, two performances Friday, 12 noon and 8. To find out more information, uh, just go to those two links. All right, Tough as Zimbabwe, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you, appreciate it.